Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and I'm very excited to have a pre-release version of the brand new Gillette Flexball Razor. This is the upgrade they've been working on for five years to their number one seller, the Fusion Pro Glide. So I'm excited because that looks like it's going to be a great razor. I'm also excited because my last couple of reviews have been for new Just For Men products, the hair dye, which turned out okay. But they're just for men, touch of gray beard, I don't care for this. People have been asking me for the last two days, so why'd you dye your beard blue? Well anyway, it's a great chance to review a great new razor and to get rid of this beard. Epic review guys. Gillette's new Fusion Pro Glide with Flexball Razor has been five years in the making, lots of development and testing. It uses the same blades as the very good Fusion Pro Glide, but what's new is this Flexball that allows it to twist and go around the contours of your face, sort of like that ball they use in the Dyson vacuum cleaner, I think. Let's it gets into all the little corners easily. This particular pack comes with a special gel for sensitive skin. I'm going to give them both a try. This is what comes in the box. One can of shaving gel for sensitive skin and then the new razor with a regular blade. There are no extra blades or special instructions included. Here's the razor itself. I don't know if you can see a little piece of metal right down here. That's the springy piece of metal that pulls this back to straight when it's gone around a contour side to side and the blade does still tip the way it used to which is like this. So now you have all the axes covered for shaving those contoured sections of your face. In this pre-release bundle, they've included a can of sensitive skin shaving gel, so I'm going to try this out before. I've used foam, but not gel before. This whole kit was about $14. I found it over at Walmart. When it comes out um, for everyone to buy, I don't know that they'll be including the gel. That may be an option, but I'll put a link down below this video if you'd like to check it out online. I used my beard trimmer on stubble setting to cut this down to shavable length, and I feel better already having that blue beard off my face. I'm now going to try out this shaving gel. And I obviously, and I obviously got a little more than I need. Okay, time to try out the contouring ability of this new Flexball razor. The hair's still a little long, so it's probably going to pull a little. Sticking a little on the longer hairs, but it's definitely contouring well around the chin. Yeah, that's working pretty well. Handles nicely. Now for a little touching up. Still have brown stains from that beard dye that stains my skin. It was pretty good. Well, I think that was a pretty good shave. Feels pretty good. Had one little nick here and one little nick here. But it felt like it contoured a lot better than any other razor that able to go on the different axes really does help getting around the spots here in the mouth and around the chin, which it, it's very smooth, did a good job. Well, I feel so much better having that blue beard off my face and this Gillette Flexball razor does a good job, gave me a good shave. This should be out for everyone to buy in just a few days here in time for Father's Day. Without the gel, I think this will sell for about the same as the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide, around eight or nine dollars. So if you're looking for a Father's Day gift that's not really unique, but it is the very latest technology and it may result in a few less nicks on your father's face, the new Flexball Razor is a good choice. If you can't find it locally, I'll put a link down below this video. You can check it out online. Shopping is easy when